What's up guys, how's it going? We are doing another unboxing showcase and it is for a new Mezco figure that I picked up. This is the Harley Quinn Playing for Keeps Edition PX Previews Exclusive. This one has an original version, but this one I like because I, uh, you know, I'm very, I'm a very big fan of the, you know, the alternate costumes. So this one really caught my eye. I, I did miss out on the pre-order, but I was able to pick one up uh regardless so i'm very happy to have gotten this one there you know there are some mixed feelings about this particular one but you know you, you buy what you like you know this is a figure that i was very interested in all because of how it looks so let's get into it this is the um, px previous exclusive box as you already know with mezco when you get a px previous exclusive you're gonna get a tin box um and I have a lot of these because I've bought, I've gotten a many, many uh, PX previews exclusive. Uh, but as you can see, this is the top or front of the box. Uh, we have on the sides uh, the Harley Quinn uh, name and the Mezco 112. And then on the back of it is the actual uh, items that you'll be receiving inside the box with some ACBA art right there. Uh, and from here, you can see now this practically the exact same uh, accessories that you get with the regular edition of, you know, the Harley Quinn uh, figure. Uh, of course, with a whole different outfit and different head sculpts. But here we go. This is what you're going to get. Uh, now, as you know, we have this little slip cover right here. And we are actually going to do an actual unboxing as we do on my, on my video. So this is what it looks like. And from the inside, of course, we get some tissue paper and our normal letter of uh welcome from the 112 collective so of course we know that this is geared for 18 and up uh, so let's move these out of the way and let's change the position to show what all comes inside the box all right guys so here we are unboxed it took everything out so here is the plastic tray we've got going on there is all of the accessories included so everything is basically you know contoured and fit inside their plastic uh, but first we're going to go right to the bottom as with most or all mezco products we actually have your flight stand and your stand as well as the the accessory bag if you're a person that does not keep your packaging uh, I myself am one to always keep the packaging so I will never use this accessory bag but as we can see, of course, here is your flight stand. Love these flight stands from Mezco. I use them all the time, especially for doing any kind of dynamic poses. Um, and here we have our stand itself. Uh, it's got, uh, you know, this glossy finish as well as this matted like type of uh, paint, which, you know, what, regardless, it still looks awesome. So I'm happy with it looks great we will put this off to the side and let's check out what's inside the box so let's take off this top part and see what we have going on okay that that took a lot longer than it should so here we go let's start off with the accessories um we actually have here this little tommy gun at least I'll call it a Tommy gun because, you know, when I when I recognize the, the brown barrels, I would normally, you know, familiarize this with a Tommy gun. Now, these barrels, the ammo barrels, they actually do come off and you do come with two of them. So that's actually really nice to see. And I love how, you know, the accessories um, have this level of of, uh, I guess you could say, like movement or uh, options to choose from as like when you do your type of photography so those are all always good to have um but i like it it's got all this great colors um because there's this pink as well as the black and the red that's going on and look they got even silver on the handle so very nice touch to you know add some some detail in there with the paint so we will put this off to the side uh we also have a hand knife that i'm trying to there you go get out uh there you go. So this knife right here, um, we've got all the different uh, symbols of playing cards. You know, the diamond, hearts, clubs, 
uh, spades and then it's an, on a nice black handle and with a silver silver tip look at that that looks really good so there we have that uh, and we also have here our like joker plushie this doll uh, I wish this had at least some form of articulation but unfortunately it does not so but we do have you know some detail here with the the tears in the fabric or in the threads and where the stuffing is coming out so that looks really really cool X's for the eyes so it's painted very nicely very well done uh, and I'm assuming you know her hand is going to hold hold on to this part it does look much thicker but you know it's it'll help uh we have here her mallet look at that look at the detail in the mallet where you have the black and the red kind of just wrapped around all the way to the top and we actually have you know like a, a silver metal plating um look a metal plating look for these rivets here on the edges and the painting's very well done. Smooth lines going in and out right there. Relax. Right there. Oh, so that's awesome. That looks really good. Very sturdy, too. So uh, my fear is this could possibly snap off at this point. But it's, it's on there pretty well. But it looks good. And we have here. This is an awesome accessory. And it does have some translucency in it for the lighting. Uh, this is the rocket for the rocket launcher. That is incredible. I love the detail and you know the dark gray into the lighter gray into the white. That is very nice. All right. And the rocket launcher itself, right there. It's got some notches going on and this is the front uh, this is the back of course uh, the back isn't hollowed but this is hollowed to insert the the rocket itself uh, and it's got a you know there's the handles for it you know this rocket launcher reminds me from the first resident evil game on the rooftop or the helipad i should say uh, and then yeah nice very nice how does that look that looks awesome and it can be inserted into any of the holes right there love it that is an awesome accessory to have right there um, we have multiple hands as we can just quickly take a look at that uh, these are well this is a trigger hand and this is just an open hand right there and this one we have our gripping hands i like the detail there's like the skin color right there and there's silver on the the knuckles so these are your gripping hands and then these hands are these open palm hands very useful i guess for when you know you're you're gonna hold the weapon as well as the rocket launcher to have on there and then we actually have a second head sculpt now this head sculpt is i guess your helmeted head sculpt head sculpt uh, and that looks awesome i love the face detail they did a great job on the paint that's awesome there's some great, you know, wear on the helmet. And, and that doesn't come off, of course, yeah. So straps, loose, not bad, but I like it. It looks great. That really does look great. And the figure itself, love this outfit. It's got this whole, like, grungy look or um, metal look. Or, or, you know, tank girl look, I guess, if you want to call it that way. Uh, and that head sculpt, that head sculpt is awesome. So, 
for those that are familiar with this type of hairstyle. And there you go. Shaved head completely, especially off to the one side. Um, I'm very familiar with this. And the paint detail and the sculpt is very good. Looks great. So there you have that. We have their leather jacket. We actually have these fishnets right there. Awesome. Looks great. Therapist at work. So, all right. So let's take a look and get things started. All right, guys. So let's get into it. We have here Harley Quinn. Looks incredible. Love this style of, you know, a costume or, you know, an alternate version of her, which is, I, I always love alternate versions of costumes. So this was, this one was right up my alley. But here you have it. We have, you know, your typical Mezco female body, unfortunately. Uh, they haven't improved on it, but it works to what we have. Uh, and there are some, you know, there are some things where it will actually look and help better because uh, most of the female body is covered up with, you know, the clothing. Um, so you don't really see those joints. Um, but this is still an incredible figure to have. Um, we have her jacket. Now, I'm sure you can take this jacket off. I am not going to try and do that. Um, but you can see that there are the the clothing uh, with the detail in this uh, mesh material. Uh, this uh, stretchy uh, red material is actually going all the way up to her her shoulder. So that you can tell right there. Now, and this jacket, I'm sure, does slide off. So... Uh, but the jacket, the jacket looks great too. It's got this, you know, this shiny pleather look, soft pleather look actually. And it does have a zipper here, a real zipper. But of course, it's not going to zipper. It's just there for, for detail. Uh, it's got these shoulder pads right there with, you know, the metal, metal studs going on. The therapist at work written right on there along with this belt. Really nice detail there. And uh, here you have in the jacket too, on this side, it's more bunched up, like it's all rolled up on this side. So this still look really good. Uh, these, I guess, painted on buttons uh, have some nice detail right there. Uh, and then the mesh does come down here on this arm. And it looks like it goes all the way down from what I could tell if I, you know, when you don't take the jacket off. So uh, I don't remember recalling seeing of... A review where the jacket did come off uh, I may work with it but I'm not going to uh, we have this corset going on that looks it, it's it is like a I think it's part of the, the the costume itself but it is kind of molded on all the way uh, wrapped around so there you have it uh, so you, ooh, you can see here there she does have this diaphragm joint but I don't think that's going to work very well considering this hard plastic of a of a um, corset right there. Uh, and then we have her belt. Her belt is actually loose. Uh, I think it's sewn on on the side. Yeah, it's sewn on on the side, so it's not going to go anywhere. But it is loose enough for it to um, uh, move around if need be. Uh, the Ditching in the pants and the detail, as you can see, you know, the, the gloss lines along with the fabric lines, you can see that in the lighting. Looks very well done. Uh, and you can see there with the stitching, the, well, the painted stitching, I'd say, on these, um, even though it still looks really good. And the boots. The boots look awesome as well. I mean, take a look at that. There's so many paint details in the boots. Uh, they did a great job in doing so. Uh, with the buckles, the rivets, um, awesome. And there's actual tread on the bottom of her boots too. So those look incredible. Uh, also, we will the the head sculpt. Uh, we just quickly took a look at that. They did a great job on the head sculpt. Paint is very well done too. And that goes with the second one, um, the second head sculpt, which is this version. So this is more like a smirk. Wow, that's a full-on smile, uh, and which we will definitely take, well, we'll take that off in a second. But um, when it comes to, you know, Mezco female body articulation, I mean, here we will go over that because 
this is where it's just going to hinder a bit and I don't mind it as much but uh, you will understand what I'm talking about. So with the elbow joint they do have single jointed elbows um, and you just have to be careful when you're going to bend it because it's only going to go so far. Here you can see the joint a little bit better uh, and be careful because you know you don't want to mess with the with the the fabric uh, but you can see that's as far as it'll go so it is a good 90 degree it does swivel too but only swivel so much because you don't want to rip the clothing so that's where you just got to remember uh, and when it does you can bring her to that up to there um, and when it comes to rotation because she has her jacket on it's not going to go very far so you just have to keep that in mind the jacket's going to hinder a bit of that movement but where is it really going to go do you really need her arm to spin around all the way no it's not necessary to but even if you did take the jacket off that the clothing here of the mesh is going to stop you from turning it full 360 so um, like I said the diaphragm there's nothing you can do about that um, but it does have the waist so you can tilt a little bit just a little bit but you can go forward just enough uh, yeah that's really all you're gonna go for uh, the legs so there is this upper thigh uh, or like hip joint right here that you can maneuver around uh, she can kick probably that far up um, where the clothing will stretch just a bit enough and then you can only go that far or else you know from fear of ripping the clothing as well so uh single jointed knees too but you can go maybe that far so that's not too bad uh but i mean you can get some motion and some range in there uh and that's where you'll see the clothing just bunch up a bit as far as it goes then you can go and just straighten it out a bit just wherever you need it to go uh, the ankles can only go so much oh that actually goes pretty well for a female body uh, and it's got the pivot too so that's pretty good uh, hands just swivel they have the ball joint swivel um, typically if you would if you collect like a McFarlane DC multiverse you'll, you'll be familiar with that ball joint and then the head has the tilt and of course you can spin around too oh and she does have this belt collar which is nice so yeah, there you go uh, let's try on the other head so we got the other head on and it does look awesome I love how that looks that looks really good <laughs> it's a great great head sculpt with this helmet so there you have that that's how she looks with that head sculpt on and you know we're going to play around with her head sculpt too because i do have the other the other harley quinn uh from the suicide squad that i was very happy to have picked up as well um as you can see there she is right there uh using the same body it is the exact same body and how i know this is because when i took when I was putting on this jacket, it was definitely, um, it wasn't difficult, but the problem was I was uh, in fear of ripping the jacket because I, I wasn't sure how it was going to play out. Um, but it's got all these accessories on there. So let's kind of swap heads and see how, you know, the heads look on, you know, each other's bodies. So does it work? Eh, not for this one uh that just does that just looks really weird on this one this one not so bad i mean it, it can work uh the the pigtails i can actually move to the back because they come off just in case uh but you know that doesn't look too bad uh the skin tone color is different well you can actually get away with a skin tone because she has the white face and then her regular skin uh so you can see that and here we have the smiling head sculpt. Uh, so that, <laughs> honestly, it actually does work a bit. So that doesn't seem too bad as well. And then we have the other head sculpt. There's the other head sculpt with her laughing face on there. Uh, you know, more expressive, but it does fit, work, and everything does look, if you really wanted to go that route. This one actually looks a little bit better with this head sculpt. Um, 
maybe it's just because of the hairstyle this one doesn't work so well with i guess that type of outfit but when she wears the helmet i mean you can it hides it more um and it can work that way if you want it to so it all varies on how you want it to look here you go as you can see we'll we'll try out the accessories so that way you can kind of see how things will turn and work out for you hello you are just gonna drop aren't you that let's just try to keep you there uh the trigger hand uh which is her right hand so this gun fits in very nicely so that does work to your advantage oh there goes that barrel uh, let's pop that back in there you go there you go uh so yeah that actually works out very nicely <clears throat> and then uh the gripping hand for her for her left hand actually so her left hand uh this should be able to slide right in for oh yeah so it's it's on there pretty pretty tight so you shouldn't have an issue as she's gonna if when she's holding this one so that's that's actually really nice right there and we also have i don't know how we're gonna hold this little guy i can assume well this one might hold yeah yeah that thumb will will hold it in place if she were to hold it like that because uh, the other hands i mean you could use the other gripping hand uh, oh yeah she does have another gripping hand so if you wanted to use the mallet on the left or the right hand you can do so uh, but remember we have a knife i forgot about the knife harley We have the knife so that grips on very very nicely so there's your knife right there uh and i mean the doll i i don't know i'm not too sure how this doll is going to be held on to this gripping hand i don't think that that'll work unless you really force it in uh because this one would seem the more feasible as i've shown where you can just kind of open her hand a bit and you should be able to slide slide it on, I guess. So it all depends on how you're going to do that. Uh, but uh, with the trigger finger hand, we want to make sure that that fits nicely onto this rocket launcher, which it does. And we'll we'll try it on the body itself too so we can see if this is actually like really heavy you know because you know sometimes the weight will just drop it down but let's try that all right guys so here we have this is the issue um there is weight to this rocket which i expected it to um and the trigger hand does fit and it's holding on there nicely but as you can see, it weighs down. So unless I really, really lift her arm up, that's where you're going to have to try and get that rocket launcher to rest. Now, here's where the hindrance comes into play. Um, because of the female body, I can't have her other hand hold. And this was actually a nice touch because this actually moves up and down. Uh, but you're going to have to really play around with this to have her hold have her left arm to hold it in place so unfortunately that is the problem with this particular weapon uh well, this particular weapon for a female mezco body i'm sure i could do it well with you know a male body or you know a different type of figure but that as you can see unfortunately i am not gonna be able to do this very well or maybe if I bend her elbow a bit, yeah, see, if I bend her elbow a bit, that's it. You got to play with it. You, you got to figure out what kind of pose you're going to try to do to make this work. As awesome as this accessory is, unfortunately, uh, for Harley herself, you're really going to have to figure out a way to 
make that happen. Uh, but, I mean, even with everything else that she has, you can definitely uh, do things uh, more that she's used to with her hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because with this mallet, this mallet is going to be awesome. If I get that peg in there. There you go. Look at that. So we know that that mallet is her weapon of choice. So I'm actually happy with that one. But right now, let's do some figure comparison, just so you can kind of see. I, I didn't. I only had a select few, which you already saw my, uh, the other one, the Suicide Squad version of Harley Quinn right here. Uh, so it's the same body as you can see that. Uh, so you know that that's really uh, the same exact height. Um, but the other one that I have is the other Mezco that I have. This is the House of Golden Skulls uh, Ninja, just with a alternate head. Uh, thank you, Caesar, for that alternate head. But this one, of course, is a uh, taller figure. Not by much, but it is a taller figure. But I like how um, it does compare with, you know, the other Mezco male bodies. Uh, and just for the hell of it, I did bring out my only Batman figure because I don't have the other one. I, I got rid of, like, my DC Classics one. So I have the new um, Todd McFarlane Toys Multiverse Batman figure. So... These are more of a seven inch scale. And this one, as you can see, is much, much taller. Now, is this more of a, you know, height comparison, a better height comparison? Because, you know, Batman's supposed to be much taller. Harley, I'm sure, is gonna be much shorter. This actually might play off and work very well, but just because of, you know, the height difference. Uh, but it all depends on how you guys like your your figures and how they scale to be so that's actually uh in my opinion isn't too bad considering the seven inch scale uh but there you go guys there you have it um i all in all still really enjoy this figure i mean in all honesty with any uh pictures that i do uh i will do my best to take some great pictures with it um but when it does end up going into my display case she's going to be in a particular pose not the most dynamic but in a certain pose where you know i won't be holding she won't be holding this the entire time but she will have some sort of um character when i do pose her in my display uh, but i am happy i'm still very happy with this figure yeah well, does Mezco have the opportunity to make better female bodies? I believe so, and I hope that it does happen because, you know, my fear is how frail sometimes they can be. But I still love and enjoy this style, this costume, this this version of Harley Quinn. So uh, I, 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 I still... I'm not I'm still happy with my purchase but there you guys have it I really appreciate you guys watching um, if you like the video I mean hell why not just hit the like button uh, make sure you check out my other videos I do a lot more toy hunts than anything else and uh, if you're new here just go ahead subscribe check out my other content I'm sure you will enjoy uh, whatever it is you may like but all in all thank you guys very much for watching I hope to hear from you. Leave a comment. Would love to hear what you have to say about this particular figure or any other Mezco figures for that matter. But if you did pick this figure up, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but thank you guys very much. I hope to hear from you soon. Stay happy, healthy, and I hope to see you on the next hunt.